Well, a lot of female hormones like progesterone, for instance, um, and or just healthy progesterone, estrogen balance have major effects. Um, basically, they're like monoamine oxidase inhibitors. So essentially, they almost are like mini antidepressants. They help kind of keep a lot of the neurotransmitters in between these post and presynaptic synapse. So you kind of have this presynaptic synapse, we have a postsynaptic synapse, and this is what's called um, the synaptic cleft, right? This is, these are where the neurotransmitters accumulate between the two, okay? And things like progesterone, for instance, they have a mild um, serotonin reuptake inhibition effect. Now, when you do medications, the problem with medications, the longer you keep those neurotransmitters between the synapses here, the faster those neurotransmitters are recycled and broken down. That's why over time, people that are on antidepressants or SSRIs, their dose has to go up, not down, especially if you don't fix like underlying root issues. So I think a lot of these hormones like progesterone, we know is a GABA chloride channel inhibitor. So GABA is big because it promotes relaxation. The more relaxed and calm your nervous system is, the less chance you're going to be burning through serotonin because you're less stressed. And there's a monoamine oxidase inhibition effect, right? MAO inhibitor. So it's almost like a mild antidepressant in a way, for sure. Cool, cool. Totally interesting. Yeah. So I mean, it sounds like, you know, part of the protocol could be both, it could be using potentially some hormones, like maybe some progesterone, but also coming in with the amino acids. And then once you figure out what's going on, after you test, then you could come in and start fixing the infection. So let me just tell just a brief story. I think people relate to the stories here. So I just remember, you know, when I was down in Texas, and I had gut infections, I had just a baseline anxiety level that was so high. Now, granted, I was away from home. I had some homesickness. I missed my family, that kind of thing. But this was different. This was related to my gut because as soon as I was doing antimicrobial herbs, the anxiety was 25, maybe 50, maybe even 75% better. So I can just tell you personally, you know, you and I've seen it clinically as well, but just personally for me, you know, I was doing supplemental GABA. I was doing motherwort, pa passion flower, all the calming herbs, but it didn't matter how many calming herbs I did. It was just a band aid. It wasn't root cause. So I just want to make sure people understand that there's a difference between natural and functional. So natural medicine is like, Hey, you're anxious, take passion flower. Functional medicine is like, okay, fine. Take passion flower. But why are you anxious? And that's the secret, the secret sauce. Correct. I think with you, I mean, part of the underlying reason was you had multiple gut infections that were not being addressed. Yeah. So there was, there was that kind of thing in the background, I think that was really important. And so fixing that played a big role. You had some potential mold stuff that was hiding as well. I think there was also some blood sugar stuff that was happening with you as well that we were looking at. Um, I think you also had like really low blood pressure too, didn't you? Yeah. My blood pressure was like maybe a hundred over 70. So, so on was, the lower side. So there was definitely very weak adrenals where your mineral corticoids were, were paying a price and you weren't able to hold up a lot of the, um, the holding a lot of the minerals so that your blood pressure was dropping. So you weren't able to really perfuse blood flow adequately. Right. And so, yeah, yep. all these things play a, a big, 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 big role. And so when well, I was really peeing, I, I was peeing a lot too. So I was up in the middle of the night, three, four, five times to pee. I now know that that was related to mold because since using appropriate binders, I no longer wake up in the middle of the night to go pee. So just folks listening, you know, could be an adrenal component as well. But, you know, for me, the excess urination was definitely a mold thing and it's luckily resolved. Exactly. So